Lights, camera, action. It's time for Adobe Illustrator and animation. Now let me put a disclaimer up front here. If you're really planning on doing animation, I wouldn't suggest Illustrator as your prime program. But with that said, we wouldn't be here if I couldn't show you a couple of interesting ways that we can do things in Illustrator and actually then maybe bring them into another animation program like, for example, Flash. I love Flash. Maybe Fireworks. You might even need Photoshop to do things like an animated GIF, but we'll talk about that later in this lesson. What I've got down there is Rocket Man. You know what I like about Illustrator? You can make things really small, but when you blow them up, they don't lose quality. So let me zoom in on Rocket Man here, and there I am. That's me about to take off on my maiden flight. In this first example, let's take him back down to normal. In this first example, what we're going to do is a slog it out frame by frame, moving it manually kind of way to work. So we're going to move the layers palette up here because we're going to need this for this demonstration. Let's start by making a copy of that layer. Just drag this down here on top of the new icon. That makes a copy. There's two on top of each other right now. What we're going to do is pick up your selection tool. I did that with a shortcut, and that's just the letter V, as in victory, on your keyboard. No Alt key, but Shift key. Hold the Shift key to make sure it stays straight. And say we put it right about there. Make another copy of that one. Like I said, this is the way they used to do things back in the old days when they did frame by frame animation like a Disney animator, except they had to actually draw these things every time. Let's make another copy. Just dragging it on the new icon. Every time I do, I'm just dragging it up and kind of going tail to tail to tail. Let's move that down a little bit here because we want to go off the screen. Another copy. I'm going to drag that up. Let's do one more. Actually, we don't really need to, but we'll do one more up here to make sure we really get them off that screen. One more copy. And one more drag, holding the shift key every time to keep it straight. All right, so what we have so far is a bunch of rocket ships in individual layers, and that's very important. Because what we want to do with this is not convert it into a uh, GIF 89A. We want to convert it into something that we could maybe take into Flash which is where, if you need to do it, Illustrator can help you out. What do we do next? Go up to the word File on the pull-down menu and go down to Save for Web and Devices. In Save for Web and Devices, you've got the original tab, you have Optimized, you got a 2-up, and you got a 4-up. Let's just go 2-up, because that gives us more room to see our Rocket Man over here. We can also change this down here. So this little button, we can click this button down here and tell the computer that we want to fit it on the screen. So we can actually see the whole thing. And you'll notice it does go off the screen is kind of what we want. What do we do next? Well, it's determining what we want to use. Save for web is like for creating JPEGs and stuff like that. We need a Swift file, SWF. So you click this button right here, and you go down to SWF, which incidentally, that stands for Shockwave File. SWF files, make sure this button right here, AI file to SWF file, no, change that to Layers to Swift Frames, or it won't work. It layers to Swift Frames. Curve quality is just for compression. We'll leave that alone. Frame rate, we'll leave it at 12 for now. Loop it so we can watch them take off over and over again and really annoy us. Now, before you save it, all you really have to do now is click Save, and it'll save it as a Swift. But if you'd like to see it without going through the Flash Player, click this little button right down here, and that button will allow me to preview it. Check it out. All right, I'm just taking off. Rocket Man. That's annoying, isn't it? What we can do is get out of that thing and come back here. You click Save, and basically it will save it along with the HTML and the images if that's what you want. But if you click down here, you can save just the images only or the HTML only. It's up to you. But when you get done, you basically have an HTML document that has a Swift file in it that allows you to uh, see Rocket Man in our case.